going to be looking at some budget lenses that I actually picked up at a thrift store um, about a week ago or so. You may or may not have checked these out for yourself before, or maybe seen them on Amazon, or maybe even seen them at thrift stores yourself. But these are the, I don't know what the heck they're actually called, but they're the, they're the XIT, or Exit, or Zit. I actually don't know what you actually call these. One is a 2.2X telephoto lens. It is a 58 millimeter, so you can put this on most DSLRs and a lot of video cameras. And then the other one that I got is a 0.43x wide angle lens. And this one is also a 58 millimeter. Um, this one is probably the most useful in my opinion. Now, really, if you want to say uh, these, there, there's probably about three lenses that came with all these because you have to have a macro lens screwed onto the wide angle for it to, it focuses in near and then gives you the wide angle. So that's how fish eyes and wide angles work. But you can actually unscrew the macro lens and use it as its own lens and get some uh, pretty unique up close shots with stuff as well. Yeah, after I have this video uploaded, I'm gonna uh, have these two lenses on my eBay page if you want to go snag them for yourself and try them out. So you might be wondering, are any of these lenses any good? And to tell you the truth, not super great, but you can use them for some cool, unique effects and you can use them to kind of upgrade your lens a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So they're not the, the, the best lenses, but they, they work decently well from what I have experienced. These lenses are good for a few different things. Now, mostly what I'm gonna be talking about for this is DSLR um, style cameras. But if you have a lens, like the kit lens that comes on most of these, which is a 35 to 55 millimeter. And maybe you can't um, zoom in as far as you want to. Well, you can get this 2.2 telephoto lens and you can screw it to the front of it and it will give you a little bit more um, range on your lens so that you can zoom in a, a little bit farther. But what's kind of cool about this lens, it really gives it some more extra depth of field in my opinion. Um, when you look at objects that are a little bit closer with it and then look at the background behind it, it really like separates the, the closer objects from the background. The lenses kind of have a, a, a distortion around the outside out here it's a little bit more blurry out here and the more in the center they're a little bit more focused and I to me I think that kind of gives it like a unique look and as for the wide-angle lens if you are doing something like this a great example for me is my little studio that I have here it's a tiny tiny little room and it's kind of hard to get the camera um, far away from me to, to get like this whole desk in um, in view if I, if I want it. A great option is this cheap little uh, wide angle lens and it'll kind of open up the, the field of view a little bit and you can get a little bit more in the shot if you need it or if you can't get your camera far enough away from you to see your entire face or body or whatever you're filming. And then the macro part of the wide angle lens, I don't think it's necessarily supposed to be um, its own lens, but if you do just screw this on and you leave the uh, wide angle part of it off, um, you can get some really, really cool up close shots. If you have your lens more zoomed out, the, the, the farther away you can be with the, the camera. But if you zoom it in more, the closer you have to be to an object. But you can get some really cool fine detail with it. And it just gives it this really cool, to me it's like a dreamy look. Like it has one small thing in focus and everything else around it is just really like blurry and blotchy. And I think it just looks really cool for some uh, macro shots or even just some really cool b-roll. I think my favorite out of all of it is probably the macro lens. These little lenses are really made for ease of use and not much of a professional use, I guess. Um, if you want more of a professional use, I would definitely recommend buying an actual lens. And one thing I forgot to mention is it comes with these little leather bags uh, that say zit or exit on it. If you know what the actual, how you actually say it, leave me a comment because I actually really don't know. Yeah, they're nice little bags and they, they tighten up around it so you can just tighten it up and throw it in your bag or even like your pocket. Kind of a short video, but this, that is pretty much it for these. 
hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different of a video. And uh, yeah, if you want these, one of these lenses or either one of them, um, I'll leave a link to my eBay store and you can take a peek at them and snag them for yourself if you want. Or I will find them on Amazon and I'll leave you a link um, for some brand new ones if you want that. Until next time, have a good one.